Do you have to keep doing that? I'm trying to write. To write what? I'm trying to write an adventure story. I'm just working on the ending. Hmm. What made you decide to write an adventure story, Flynn? Dudley, have you forgotten? The annual Monster Storytellers Fair is on this weekend. Oh, it is too. Oh, can I hear what you've written so far? Please. Oh, all right. But remember, I'm still working on the ending. Okay. <coughs> Once upon a time, there were two adventurous monsters called Mel and Max. They decided to make a raft by hammering old bits of wood together. Keep going, Flynn. Keep going. Nah, it's not quite working. I want to bring it more to life so listeners can really imagine everything that's happening. Bring it to life more. Hmm. Do you have to keep... <sighs> Dudley! That's it! What's it? That sound. That sounds like Max and Mel hammering the wood. Huh? Don't you get it, Dudley? Sound effects would bring my story to life. Sound effects? Oh, like in the movies. Flynn, there are lots of sound effects we could make. With what? Well, leave it to me. I'll see what we can use around here to make some sounds. Good thinking, Dudley. While you're doing that, I'll work on the scene. Dudley, the sound effects whiz to the rescue! Oh. 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 I don't want to know about that. Perhaps Dodley could use some of these things for sound effects to go with Flynn's story. Sometimes, people make musical sounds to help tell a story. Les makes musical sounds by blowing through his didgeridoo in a certain way. He's using his didgeridoo and his hands to tell a story with some Australian animals in it. Can you guess which animals? Here are some other instruments you blow into or across to make sounds. Like Les's didgeridoo, all these instruments are hollow in the middle. The musicians press down on keys that cover holes in the instruments. This is how they play different notes. Other instruments have strings that you drag a bow across. Or pluck with your fingers. You get sounds from these instruments by hitting them. They're called 
percussion instruments. Jerome makes his own percussion instruments. This is the tree bone xylophone. It's made from wood, so obviously what you're hearing is the sound of wood being hit. If I use a soft rubber mallet, I get a gentle sound. If I use a hard rubber mallet, I get a brighter sound. This is another percussion instrument. It's called the Djembe drum. The reason this drum sounds so good is because of the shape and because of the way the goat skin is stretched so tightly over the top. If I hit the drum in the middle, I get a booming sound bellowing out of the drum. If I hit on the edge of the rim, I get a sharp sound. And I use a combination of these sounds to make music. Jerome's happy with the sounds he's making. I wonder if Dotley's making some good sounds too, to go with Flynn's story. Once upon a time, there were two adventurous monsters called Max and Mel. They decided to hey, build... Hey, I found the perfect thing to make the sound of thunder. If I could just pull it off! Oh! Totally. Hang on. I'm coming. We're going to make our own instruments. Some of us have brought in instruments from home to give us some ideas. We're going to use our instruments to play a tune together. We're going to make them from stuff you can recycle, like cardboard boxes and tin cans. Before we design our instruments, we're finding out what sort of sounds things make. After all this experimenting, it's time to start putting ideas on paper. Sometimes it helps if you have something to copy when you're drawing a design. By taking a close look at how something works, you might be able to get your design to work in the same way. Of course, as you draw a design, you have to think about what you're going to make it from. different lengths at the end of it and you blow through that end and it's hollow. It's the guitar and I'm going to use an egg carton and a box and some string and rubber bands. How are you going to play your guitar? Pull the rubber bands back and let go. I if Dodley's using any recyclable materials to make his story sounds. And 
Now for an adventure story, please welcome on stage Flynn and his sound effects maestro, Dudley! Once upon a time, there were two adventurous monsters called Max and Mel. They decided to make a raft by hammering old bits of wood together. <coughs> They carried their raft to a lake near their home and set sail. A big storm hit. So Max knocked on it. Hang on, Flynn, I got it. No one came. <laughs> so he knocked again loudly. <laughs> Still no one answered. So he knocked again. Even harder. Where's he gone? I think my story's a big hit, Dudley. Get it? Big hit. Yeah, I got it, Flynn. Now carry on. Finally, the door opened, and a fairy monster invited them in. She had magic powers. Magic powers? Oh, no. <laughs> and she turned Max and Mel's raft into a flying carpet. They climbed aboard, and then the wind blew them back home. The wind! Oh, no. Don't turn it off! Oh, lucky that's the end, Thanks, Dudley. 